Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about joint ventures and collaborations. There are distinctions between the two. Joint ventures refers to the arrangement when two companies come together with the intent of carrying out a large project which uh, one company cannot do alone. This is usually done for cons big construction projects. So what happens is the two companies set up a joint venture company. It's called JV Co a joint venture company owned by the two joint venture partners. So the JV Co is usually 50-50 or 51%, 49%. That is the, that is a, what, that is the real sort of uh, joint venture that when people talk about joint ventures, that is the real type of joint ventures. Operations on the other hand, also called contractual joint ventures, uh, do not involve the setting up of a separate company where the, each partner holds shares. Collaborations merely involve contracts between two parties setting up the terms on how they will collaborate on a certain uh, business relationship. It is also very common for people who use the, the misnomer partnership. Okay, partnership to refer to joint ventures and collaborations. Now, partnerships are governed under the Partnerships Act. They are totally separate. They are totally different kind of uh, entity from joint ventures and collaborations. Most people think that partnerships involve you know, two people collaborating, but actually no. And they will use uh, partnership templates, okay, when, it's, when, it, when in actual fact uh, it should be a collaboration agreement. So back to joint ventures. Joint ventures does not uh, make the two entities permanent business partners because of the JV Co that is set up between the two or more joint venture partners who are shareholders. Now, it is very important to have a joint venture agreement in place which outlines the legalities and responsibilities of each shareholder to the JV Co to avoid any future disagreements. Sometimes a joint venture may comprise three, four or five different companies, you know, uh, coming together to uh, to build a certain a huge project, a cons huge construction project. So to avoid the situation where one party complains that they are either left out on the major jobs or they have been given a bigger workload as compared to the others, a proper joint venture agreement should be drafted setting out the, re the individual responsibilities of each joint, each joint venture partner. There should be also clauses about uh, uh, disputes Deadlock. Deadlock means uh, they cannot come uh, to a decision relating to a major. They cannot come to an agreement relating to a major decision. And what are the? There are different mechanisms in a joint venture which uh, allow for uh, deadlocks. How they are to be? How they are to be resolved? Now I'll go back to collaborations. Collaborations are also called contractual joint ventures. Contractual joint ventures because no separate company is set up. They usually involve small businesses with uh, new exciting products that they might want to sell through a larger company's distribution networks. So the two partners could agree to a collaboration agreement where they set, set out the terms like for example the commissions payable to uh, the, the one party Okay, the minimum order quantity, the use of trademarks. As I mentioned earlier there's a tendency for people to confuse joint ventures and collaborations and uh, call them partnerships and then they use they download a, a temp, uh, they download a partnership agreement template from the, the internet and then they mess the whole thing up because they are totally different things so i will discuss uh, specific clauses in joint venture agreements in the next two videos thanks for watching this introductory video on joint ventures